All right, let's try it again. I don't think we got a... Ooh, a stone badge. This is a good shop. This is a really good shop. Really, really good shop. Because we don't really need any items from Pyromancer itself for this build. Like, we don't need any of these items at all. The only one... Yeah, actually, there is no only one. We don't need any of this shit. So, yeah, stone badge is massive. Plus, it gives us the stones and heat anyway. So, that's pretty huge. Getting that for the combination. Buying this wooden buckler on sale. That's a free four gold sacrifice which is beautiful i'll get this flame roll once just to see what i'll get yes um always picking up regenerations not buying the banana and we'll just go with this you should be as greedy as a pig with offering it, it wastes around though that's my thing because i'm trying to get specific items from the offering so if i buy like an item of sell and give that to the offering i feel like that like wastes around getting an item i don't really want or need for the build versus getting an item that i do really want and need for the build you know what i mean that's the only reason why let me get this roll for space a fanny pack this is a pretty solid shop too i'm glad we got the or should i get this stone i don't know i need space though or else I'm not going to be able to do a sacrifice this round. We might lose. Yeah, I'm going to get this space. I feel like the space is just a better choice because I'm going to need it for a sacrifice. Because then I can fit everything in here. But I do want both of these next round for sure. I'm going to go with this. Uh, but yeah, I just don't want to waste any rounds sacrificing an item and getting items I don't need. And then trying to turn around and like sacrifice those items that I just got from the sacrifice that I don't need. And it's like two rounds down the drain. I think we lose this. More than likely. Our DPS just isn't anything. Unfortunately. Yeah. A banana? I'll keep that. I need to buy everything here, bro. I'm so glad all these items are in sale. I just wish we could get better space. Man. Not getting space kind of blows. I want a combination here, but we did get the broom on sale. So I think I'm just going to sell this just to get some space. We will use this to sacrifice the broom. Go with something like this. Yeah, we'll go with something like this. Yeah. You shouldn't pick offering at all. What do you mean? You mean as like my starter class? I need it. I need the offering. I think we win here because we have broom now, though, which is great. Yeah. Landslide. All right, broom, give me something good. Bro. Appreciate the fannies, but, uh, I need other things, you know? Two gold worth? Uh, not really. Um,. I can maybe go for a stone though so it's not the end of the world because i definitely need this space so yeah we're, we're just gonna sell two flames for you okay and then we'll do this at least we still have this wooden sword for like a weapon so it's not horrible that we're doing it doing the things we're doing guess um stone piggies and we're throwing a bean ants actually no because wait if we sacrifice three golds worth of items we'll end up getting these we don't really need any of those i'd rather just have a stone unless we go for another shiny shell i mean nah nah i think i'd rather just get a stone real quick or at least try to get a stone real quick. Higher. Mana potion with a shell totem? Interesting. He's got heat generation. Infinite uh, impairment as well. But we kind of do too. So like, you know, but he's got heat generation. But uh, maybe that doesn't matter. <laughs> Versus our five impairment. I don't know what we're... Oh, we have regeneration, regeneration. I was like, why are you not dealing damage to us? Our health just didn't go down. Two flame, don't need. Hammer on round five is interesting, but I don't think I'm gonna pick it up. 
actually makes sense to fish for stones that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like, yeah. <laughs> That's like a big part of the build. Each part. I'm not going to put the hammer in, though, because I don't have faith in it right now. Um, But I do like this broom. I definitely have faith in the broom. Because I can just sacrifice it, which is nice. Because we need to keep sacrificing these four gold items. And I guess we'll finish it off with uh, the heat. Something like that. Should win versus this guy. He does have the health potion though, which kind of blows a lot. A lot, a lot. But I think we're fine. I feel like we just out DPS. Oof. Okay. Barely fine. That freaking fire regeneration he got from the health potion almost did his end. Good game though. Hey, you got a fanny. Hungry Blade is pretty solid, actually, with this build. I think I'd rather have the Hungry Blade than uh, than the Hammer. We're getting a lot of fanny packs from this freaking Offering Bowl. He needs to stop doing that. He <laughs> needs to stop getting us fanny packs. Another stone is solid, since we got this stone here. Another stone bag. I think we're going to do something like this. Am I playing totems to the end? Yeah, yeah. I'm playing totems to the end. I want four. Ideally, you want four shell totems with this build. Ideally. Do I have enough space? What am I sacrificing here? I sacrifice the rubies, even though I kind of want to keep one. But I can sacrifice these four and call it a day. I think I do need space because I do kind of want to incorporate the bag of stones. Both of these need to be in there. Um... And now we're out of space, right? So I think I'm just going to buy this space. And then we'll just go banana since we do have like only two shell totems. Then again, we need the regeneration. Uh, we need the regeneration for the vampirism for the extra DPS. So I guess we'll have to just do this. Settle for that, I think it's probably the best way. See, this is what I need. <laughs> I need more shiny shells and wooden swords. If I can get a wooden sword from this, that'd be great. Spike shields hurts us too. But I mean, we have six vampirism and four empowerment, which the dagger can use that as well, which is great, right? What are you giving me? Wooden sword, nice. Let's pick up space and we're also gonna pick this up. We got eight gold. Next round is the round we, uh, we cry. Ooh. That's actually really nice. Actually, not even gonna lie. We might actually sell the hungry. Should we sell the hungry blade for the dagger? I mean, we only have one dagger. We have one dagger. We don't sell the hungry blade. I feel like the hungry blade is better in this situation than the hammer. Because we only got one dagger. If we had two daggers, I would think it would be to play, but we only have one. Only got one. Yeah, I'm playing them until the end. You always want four if you played them. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to, um, you know. Here's how they perform in survival. They're actually really, really good. If I get the right, what you call it? You just joined the Discord? Thanks, bro. Hell yeah. Welcome. I think I have to just start fishing for, uh, for them now. So we need to sacrifice three, three gold items. Which we can definitely do. And I think in this situation, I think it's better if I just get this piggy bank. And then just get this next round. Just so we can like maximize our economy. And then we can just uh, sacrifice shipped. And then these two. We could also incorporate this bag of stones. That might not be bad. I was going to try to put this banana in there somehow. But I think we're just going to rock with this. Call that a day. Bro, hammer is terrible with empowerment. Yeah, just the hammer itself is bad with empowerment. Now, if you got like a few daggers in there, it's not. Ooh, a rapier. Yeah, we got destroyed by Mr. Rapier. Bro, look what it's giving me. Oh, we got another dagger though. That changes things. Might actually start incorporating this hammer. Potentially. Ooh. 
Prim Orb on sale is nice. Very, very nice indeed. I'm gonna just sell this protective purse to get the big boy space, I think. Probably get Prim Orb next round. This round we can sacrifice. We can't really sacrifice much. Actually, we could sacrifice all of the, we could sacrifice both of the jewels actually. In the flame. That's three gold. Hopefully we can get ourselves a, a Shelly. That would be nice. Banana or a heroic potion? Banana or a heroic potion? I don't know. I don't know. Why? High cooldown, high stamina usage. Not the best usage for empowerment. Agreed. With daggers, it's a different breed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, maybe I can. Yeah, I can. I can just rock every both. I could also like try to get like a combination here with it. Yeah, I could just do this. Get that combo. That'll save me some space, which is great. Yeah, I'll just rock this. Please give me a shell tone this round. I need it. That's a lot of carrots and a bunch of coals on the ground. Oh man. Okay. Oof. 11 vampirism and 7 empowerment. Not horrible. Bro, you gave me pocket sand. But yeah, I gotta pick up both of these. That's enough stones that we need. We don't need any more stones. We don't need any more bag of stones realistically. Okay, yeah, we definitely make the switch. We got triple daggers now. So we definitely make the switch, I think. So yeah, we'll sell this. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eleven. I'm gonna buy that banana as well, since we have the hammer here. I'll go ahead and reset as well. Let's go something like this. Boom. What do I wanna put up here though? Um, I guess we'll put the burning banner stuff up here. This is, um, this is also a holy item. Realistically, I want to do this, right? Let's see. I don't like all the missing stars, but I don't have anything else to put inside the stars. This would be better though yeah that would be better because at least it's on all of the holy items you know what i mean so uh that would be better actually trying to think of any case where you run hammer but no daggers there is none <laughs> you might as well put if you got any like you know because the, the thing with hammer is it stuns if you got anything that stuns whether it's the hammer or like anything there's a lot of things that stun in the game but if you have anything that stuns you might as well just rock daggers with it as well Triple daggers. Let's get a breakage of a piggy. So that'll help. Stamina potion is good. Um, I don't know if I can get me a combination this round. I think I'm also going to do this instead. Fit more items. Okay, and then we need double stones. That's got to go in. I mean, I could sacrifice four gold. What do I need? Shell totem, so I need to sacrifice three. Okay, this works actually. Cause I, I could just do this. That's three. That's three gold is worth. Okay, we'll just do this. And I'm gonna go ahead and sell the flame. I think should I sell the flame? Nah. Nah, we'll be fine with just this. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We might not be fine. <laughs> Going against a build like this, we might not be fine actually. Yeah, we're not fine. <gasps> oh, barely. Five health. A lot closer than I thought we were going to be. That's for sure. Another freaking protector first. The game does not... Ooh, another heroic potion. That was insane. Yeah, we picked that up for sure. Give me space. Oh, okay. That's a W. This is a W. This is a W. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay. 
if you put this up here, do uh, something like this. Banana can go there for the combo. We also need to get a combination for this uh, shiny shell and wooden sword. I don't think I'm going to go for a four shell totem because that's just going to be doing too much. So we'll just do something like this. Another prim orb. I think I'm going to get this. Yeah, I think I'm going to get that. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You need a holy amount of, of stamina. Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> it's just going to be like, I need like four stamina potions. Mm -hmm. At least three. <laughs> Ideally four, though. Ideally four. With four stamina potions, I'll be completely fine. Okay, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Bro, I don't need these stones. Even though I do like them. Don't, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. All right, let's get both of these. Because I need space anyways. Bro, why do I have so many stones? I might as well pick up this bag of stones. I got two stones in my backpack. I could sell it for two gold. Fuck it. We'll buy it. First bloody amulet is decent. Decent. This can go... That's not a bad spot, actually. Yeah, I don't think that's a bad spot. Um... I don't know where to put the fanny. I guess we'll just... I guess I could put on the two holy items down here. Those two. Just rock it like this. Piggy needs a sacrifice. We'll use, use a sacrifice. I just feel I said sacrifice twice. I feel like this can be better somehow. Because I don't really need this heat here. I'd rather have two stones on this guy. I could do this instead. Yes. There we go. I might rearrange eventually. I might rearrange. I feel like I can min max this a little bit better. What the fuck? Two bloodthorns? Double bloodthorns is nutty. Oh my gosh. Dude got annihilated. He needs stamina. Fuck me. This guy needs some stamina. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> Compared to him, I'm fine. A banana? I'll take actually. Ooh, there goes a heart container. Another region is good. Some space is good. I got 10 gold. I might... Might be able to just put this, the heart container in to get a combination. Maybe, potentially, possibly. I'll try it. Um, Because I could sell this guy in like a flame, get the heart container, get a combination this round versus next round, and I could just not use those items. But I feel like I can min-max this a little bit better. Because ideally, you want, like, all three of these to be touching star slots. But I don't think... I don't think that's going to be possible. I don't think that's going to be possible. Where should I put struggles between the Bloodthorn? <laughs> My man's needed stamina. Struggles was just gonna speed him up, or no? Man's would have been starving for the stam. I don't really have anything to sacrifice this round, though, so. I guess this is fine. Banana can go up here. Stone dude can go there. We can still put this in, get some usage out of that. And then I guess we'll just throw in a heat somewhere. Yeah. Getting both of these is really nice, though. I'm not going to lie. 
those two stamina pots help a lot a lot a lot but after this round we should be solid look at this it's just gonna keep getting better from here it's just gonna keep getting better ding all right space herb more piggies would be nice i'm not gonna lie i might try to fish for some piggies try to sacrifice some things for some piggies i think is the way another one is beautiful and that is really good i might get this this round i think that's the play getting that that's uh this round okay so now that we got stone golem usually i try to make my hammer as fast as possible but like honestly i'm thinking we try to make the stone golem as fast as possible i feel like it's just better only six stamina a second <laughs> but yeah we're refreshing we're resetting so i'm gonna I'm be a little bit experimental here and um i'm gonna try to make the golem as fast as possible like just try to you know prioritize golem with the fanny packs basically instead of trying to prioritize it with the hammer um it's pretty much the plan do something like this right and then we could put bag of stones around it which we have three so i'll just do something like this what's the other one oh. and we still have two stones I can even throw this upside down i was trying to reserve space i mean i guess that works okay um we could still share these fanny packs with the hammer though still make it 40 percent faster which isn't horrible something like this yeah i could even do this that still works put that down here all right all right all right so far so good um looks weird but we can see if we can make this work I say we sell this chip healing herb that'll insta proc the stolen golem which is what we need and then we'll just do these three in a row like that this can go up here whoops honestly we can move this too we don't need anything on that side i don't think okay um And then we'll just do maybe do something like uh, this with this guy right in the middle because we're trying to get as much vampirism as possible right and that's why i want the bloody daggers and that's why you want you know prismatic orbs you know you get your increase in healing from the holy items right so that's really really good and then the rest of these daggers can really go wherever they want um, and then holy items, uh, not holy, but the healing herbs, they can go in like little small areas. And we'll just go double this. This can go here. And we still are able to sacrifice items, which is just three gold, which we need four gold to get the pig. And that's really, that, that's the only thing we need now is just pigs for money. Pigs and bananas for money. We don't need anything else from this selection. So I think we'll just save these. I don't really want to sacrifice them. Get that next round for the other daggers. Yeah, this is looking good. Show log after this fight if you don't mind. Damage and heal. Okay, I got you. I got you. Oh, a holy spear. He's also destroying our buffs because uh, Mrs. Struggles. It's literally just a holy spear build, which is interesting. Putting more stones on this build would be nice. If he procs that spear, we're done for, I think. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, never mind. We're fine. <laughs> We're fine. All right. So, numbers stone golem 141 damage because it insta procs goes cooldown goes to three a second. I think no 2.8 a second and drops a whole freaking second off of it just from being 40. percent I like that. But yeah, that's the fastest. And then uh, you know you got the daggers and everything. Healing 90 from vamp 60 from the blood daggers we need more blood daggers though and not to mention the amplified healing from the premium orbs and everything 
it's nice and this this was going against opponent with this 30 percent chance resist being stunned um he was also removing our buffs from mr struggles holy spear was i mean yeah holy spear wasn't the best weapon honestly probably one of the worst weapons you could do with this build i think i think and then he also had shield of valor interesting i see the vision though and i you know he's getting his mana up though getting the mana moon armor with the, the the mana potions pretty interesting i wonder what he's gonna do with that oh i didn't scroll to the bottom sorry um down here right oh you mean right here oh crap i think you mean right there we had a little bit of overheal too huh healing 11 a second overheal healing seven a second damage was 24 dps a second and it hammers using 1.2 so we got a two a second stamina usage basically write that down write that down <laughs> two a second stamina usage all right, we got five rounds left. I want to prioritize getting as many bloody daggers as possible. More stamina potions would be great. Um, more space, obviously. That's really about it. Honestly, Nikos would be good too, because Nikos make these faster, which is kind of what we want, right? The faster this is, the better. Because we're really relying on the stone golem. We're not really relying on the, the hammer. The hammer is just there because, like, we have nothing that uses up stamina. I mean, these use up stamina, right? But, like, you know. <laughs> but, yeah. Mainly, we're mainly focusing on stone golem at this point, I feel. But need that five, ten gold, no. Not buying that for ten gold. I'll buy this, though. Customer card for four gold. Is interesting. Let's, um, where am I putting this? I actually don't see a good spot for it. Or it could be on the star slot of the prismatic orb, but also next to bloody dagger. I'd have to more than likely move the bloody dagger somewhere, but I'm not really about to do that. So <laughs> we're just going to do something like this. Call that a day. I should probably keep my stones. This is just extra, extra DPS I could utilize, so. More than likely, it's smart to keep them and utilize them real quick. Kind of something like this. And these can just go here. Cool. And I'm going to sell both of these heats, actually, just to get this customer card to sacrifice it. See what I can get out of that. I could do the same thing with the Divine Potion, but I don't care enough. Also, hammer's coin flippy. True. <laughs> True. And you're... Oh, you come back to life. Didn't see that coming. And you're still dead. <laughs> you're still dead. Alright, let's see. This time we use 2.6 stamina a second. Instead of uh, 2 stamina a second from last time. Stone Golem 107. 11 damage a second. Oh, never mind. 15.8 damage a second. 53 damage a second for the entire build. Healing wise, 23 second from uh, vampirism and overheal was pretty nutty too. Pretty nutty. Good game though. Hey, we got a pig on round four. I'll take it. I might actually get this Nico here. Potentially. Especially since we're getting more money next round. Might not be that bad of a choice. I could put it here. Yeah, let's get it. I'm just going to get it. A little bit of defense. Extra offense. Not bad. Not bad. One more bloody dagger would be perfect. And another stamina potion. I think that's what we're going to try to roll for next round. Wow, wow. I don't know what y'all are saying. I keep going against thorn bills. I've noticed this is like the third third or second thorn bill we've gone against in a row. Using thorn, uh, thorn bloom. Spike shields, double shield. Interesting. I think we'll be fine, though. 
Should it be fine? Berserker mode, we still got armor up. <laughs> 16 empowerment. Yeah, we're definitely winning this. 100%. 18 empowerment. That's why I love this build. That's why I love this build. Because at the start of the game, you get the 150 block. That gives your build enough time to ramp up empowerment utilizing this. You also get empowerment from these uh, the heroic potions, right? And when you run out of stamina from the hammer, you have enough empowerment to realistically just rely on the daggers. This guy. This guy's stunning with the daggers, and then you got a bunch of stones on top of that, doing 20 damage each. It's great. Another piggy. Sure. I'll take it. Hello. That's a nice shop. It's a really nice shop. We'll put you... Honestly, we'll just put you here. I could min-max this a little bit better, but I feel like we're just fine. Oh, I forgot. Nico's a holy item now. Forgot about that. Nice. Um... I could probably just like do this. That'll work. I should probably get this other dagger too. Get this stamina sack would be nice. I could get it. Yeah, let's get it. Let's get that. Yeah, this will work. This will work. So rocking Smojo T to this day. Let's go, Addy! Hell yeah, that's what I like to hear. Oh man, I miss making merch. I'm gonna be honest. I miss it. I miss it. Let me not sacrifice my uh <laughs> lock everything there. Whoa! Double cap of discomfies. My healing. Oh no. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh wait, he's on invulnerable because of the crown. The crown, the crown, man, the crown! Alright, we're fine. There's no more? No. Well, I'm, I don't like actively promote it or try to like make merchandise, basically. So that's why. But like I've like experimented with uh, making more merch. I just kind of stopped for a little bit. Like I like I have like a whole I'll show you after this game. I have like a whole drawing pad of like just sketches and everything. Where's Smojo himself from? I'm from Georgia. From Georgia. The crown. Yeah, we're fine. <laughs> The freaking crown, the cap of discomfies, 60% reduction in healing, and then 30%, uh, uh, you know, nullifying and buffs. Pretty scary stuff. And then the freaking crowns, man. And then 40% chance to resist debuff. Good thing we don't debuff. That's great. Another healing reduce. This guy does not like healers. Man. Good game, though. Ding. All right, I think we need to rearrange to like try to make these uh, bloody daggers just a little bit better to make sense. Honestly, getting this other, I mean, we have seven gold, like, I don't need a Whopper Tinker. I think I'm gonna get this Nico, just cause I want one. Damn it. Damn it. I can give me a fourth bloody dagger. Should I just sell to Nico and give me a fourth bloody dagger? Neem, you changed your name. You want to thank me? How come? What was my mind how people with such boards can get the 16? <laughs> Lol. I'm at the. I don't know. Should I sell the Neek? Man. I mean, I have this stone badge. Two stones. Like five. We'll rearrange and maybe I can sell some space. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, maybe I can sell some space. Four years. It has been a hot minute. Um, you're the reason I started making content. I discovered you. I didn't have any interest in personally streaming, but OBS has made it super accessible for anyone to start. Agreed. Agreed. It. Agreed. OBS is beautiful. Without OBS, we'd all be fucked. Last combine round? Yeah. So I kind of do want to get this. We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to rearrange here. And see if we get some like leftover space and maybe we can um maybe we can do that. I feel like we have enough fannies to like try to make both the hammer and the golem as fast as possible. So that's what we're going to try here. So this will be hammer. And golem is just going to go up here. In these two spots. Situation like that's good. And I guess. Uh, Um, I guess we'll do something like this. 
All right, there we go. Okay, so boom, right? Um, we'll put these guys over here. Three, and then we'll go prim orb, prim orb. And then we'll go dagger, dagger, dagger. Um, stand potions can go here. Nico. Don't know yet. But it's looking like this because I only need two more stars there. Even though we're missing. I mean, we only got three bag of stones, so. I guess that's fine. We could do something like this. And then stone it up up here. Okay. Dagger can. Well, no. Oh, I got another Nico. I just realized that. Perfect, actually. But yeah, that dagger can go there. And then the only thing else that matters is the region goes into spots. Okay, so we got. Yeah, we got space to sell then. Nice. So we sell you. We don't need this extra stone. It's four. We need five more. We could sell two stamina sacks, maybe. Cause I need I need everything else. Except well, I would like to have this bag of stones. I kind of value these stamina sacks, so I'm not gonna lie. The extra stamina is nice. The extra stamina is nice. Because selling this and this isn't going to be enough. I literally just have this. Well, no, maybe I can sell this potion belt. No, potion belt sells for three, but I'd rather sell the potion belt. Maybe I could just sell the potion belt. It's a lot less useful than the, the stamina sack. So if I sell these two, I'll be left with one, two, three slots. I only need one for this. Ever play Rock League anymore? Nah, not really, honestly. Not really. I love seeing uh, woman gaze and black men in the space too. When I was seven, the majority of content creators are white, straight, and male. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. It's nice to see the diversity. You think I should sell the stone belt bag? Stone bag and potion belt? I'm looking at that plus eight gold. I mean, eight damage. It's getting to me, bro. The plus eight damage is getting to me. But I guess we don't really need it that much to plus 8. Like, this gives us 16 versus 24. It'd be 34. 16 would be 26. 26 to 34. I don't know. Alternatively, I can sell a... I mean, we have a lot of stamina, though. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 4. We have 5 stamina sacks. And 3 stamina potions. Like, we're, we'll probably be fine on stamina. Like, realistically, we won't be missing stamina. Especially since we got 3 uh, heroic potions. Like, we won't be missing stamina. So I think, uh... oh, I forgot about the burning coal. You're right. Good looks, good looks, good looks. So we got four, five, right? Five, six, seven, eight. So we need one more gold. Shit, at that point, I'd rather just sell a stone. No, we sell this. That's enough gold, right? So we can keep the stammy. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nice. Nice. Good looks on the freaking uh, burning skulls, good squid. I don't be looking at that stuff. <laughs> good looks. Now we can get our combination. We don't have to sacrifice a stamny sackety. And we're good. Yeah, this build is looking mighty beautiful. I feel like I might be able to, I don't know. Maybe I can like move you over here, maybe. It's just because these are holy items, and I'm trying to put them inside of the Prismatic Orb for more increase in healing. It's the only reason I'm looking at them like that. Why did Disney shut it down? What did Disney shut down? Oh, Club Penguin? Probably because it was old. Holy crap. Okay. Burst build versus burst build. It's a super great sword. I mean, we have a 30% chance to resist critical hits. Which is nice. All right, I'm gonna put this in a point three. I feel like this is gonna be a good battle. Let's see what happens here. No talking. That hurts so much. Ooh, that was a good hit. Let's go. Oh, you got fucking destroyed. 
You got fucking, you got annihilated, brother. Oh my. F max health? Bro didn't even hit me. Bro got stun locked. Honestly, he really did. With the slow cooldown of the great sword, it, it, it works. It works. No pigs on cat for fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah, true. True. And then he put a pig on a Nika. I was looking at that. They increased the critical hit chance. I don't know if it was on purpose, but it's kind of kind of cool. I would prefer Cole in purse or Fanny on one item. <laughs> you do have a point there. You do have a point. Man, I was expecting that to be a close battle, but no, that was not a close battle. I started playing Valheim recently, as I uh, remember you streaming it a while back. Fire game, not gonna lie. Yeah, it's great. It is great. If you got any friends to play it with too, peak. Absolutely peak. Absolutely peak. I haven't played it in a long time, but I've heard it had like a bunch of updates. Makes me sad I haven't played it for a long time. All right, we really don't even need anything for this build now. Like we have four bloody daggers and they're all looking pretty decently happy. Double primi orbs, triple shell totems, burning banner, double Nikos that are like, I don't know anything else I can add to this build to make it better. At all. I mean, another shell totem might be okay for the sake of stamina. Why not? Decreases their stamina users by another 15%. Not too bad. Glowing crown would actually be good. Because you get the mana generation from the prismatic orbs. You start with two. But are we going to get enough to get 10 though? But I mean, if we get this to proc in the middle of the game, like that could be really good. We're not going to be able to buy it because I'm not selling anything. But just like in general, getting a getting a glowing crown for that invulnerability can be really, really nice. Oh, yeah, I'll show the logs next round. I'll show the logs next round. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, not, I'm sorry. Sorry. I'll show them next round, though. Yeah. But in general, like getting like a, a blueberry or like a mana orb with this rocking the glowing crown just makes the build a little bit better, in my opinion. Highly recommend if anyone's trying this. Um, don't need anything there. Shit. Caprizil, maybe? I'm looking at this healing herb, too. Um. Yeah. <laughs> I could just sell the space. I didn't really need it. Yeah, I could just do this. Sell the space. Get the cap. Probably gonna do more than a useless space. Cap is okay. Yeah, just to, you know, sell space for the crown. Well, we're gonna have enough money. Nah, because the crown was what, 12? We had seven. We would need five. I don't think we're gonna have, be able to sell like five gold worth of space for the for the crown. Plus, we weren't gonna be able to proc it. These are gonna activate every eight seconds. We start with two, and we need like eight more. You get two every eight seconds. It's like 32 seconds. <laughs> Oh. Okay. Hammer with double poison daggers. A little bit of bloody goobery, but that's a lot of dragons. That's a lot of dragons, and that's a lot of healing. And he's got this guy. Which is kinda interesting. Crown is useless. He's definitely gonna be running out of stamina, but this is the main thing. This this is this, this dragon situation is the main thing. He doesn't have heat generation for this. So that doesn't matter. He doesn't really have the stamina for this guy, so that really doesn't matter. Kinda. The biggest problem is just this. Dragons with some trash. Let's go. <laughs> you have to place next to hammer. What did I have to place next to the hammer? Are you talking about the glowing crown and putting inside the both of the fannies? Is that what you're talking about? I say we beat this guy. I say we destroy this guy. And my hammer's faster. Oh, the blind. Hold up. The blind. Where did we even get blinded from? Debuffs? This guy? Click four random debuffs at the start of the game. The blind hurts, bro. 26 poison as well? Uh-oh. We need that accuracy. We're gonna have to wait, I guess, for the crown. These guys to give us clovers for accuracy. 
I guess that's our kryptonite, a blind build. Oh, brother, that hurts. Come on, daggers. There we go. Yeah, that was actually a lot closer than I thought. But that blind, that little five blind, really hurt. 65 accuracy, 60 accuracy, 85 accuracy. And this guy is 75 accuracy. So our kryptonite with this build is definitely a blind build. Because we have no way of countering blind. The only way I could see if we literally just buy one lamp and put it here and maybe buy another lamp for stone golem. But that's really about it. That little five blind, a little bit of debuffs, these amethyst whelps added to us at the beginning of the game almost costed us. Oh yeah, and blueberries. Yeah, you're right actually, blueberries. And if you're running blueberries, you might as well run the crown too, right? But then the crown's gonna take your mana and then you gotta wait till your blueberries get back up to 10 to generate you clover, so eh. But yeah, you could also, you know, put in an Orban. That's true. But yeah, that's pretty much the build. And let's look at some numbers. As you guys love to look at. So Hammer did the most amount of damage, surprisingly. Very surprisingly, actually. But yeah, 135, 100 from them. And then Bloody Daggers doing what the Bloody Daggers do. Overall, 50 damage a second from this build. 50 damage a second. Healing wise, 607 from Vampirism, 67 a second in total, and then overheal was 21. Nice. 2.4 stamina a second, okay. We still had a stamina potion left over too, which is really nice too. I'm surprised the hammer did the most amount of damage. 1.63 cooldown is nice. Almost as fast as a hammer. And as far as empowerment goes, Stone Golem generated the most. And the Shell Tone was put in there, you know, nine put together. I like that. I like that. Blind build next game. I was going to try like a flame build. 